The following content is for entertainment purposes only. All of voices in this video and this disclaimer were generated using artificial intelligence and are not actual quotes of the persons depicted. This content is purely satirical and is in no way a political advertisement or contains any political bias. Viewer discretion is advised. My fellow Americans. It's season two, motherfuckers. It's a whole new world we live in. Do, 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 do. It's a whole new way to see. Do, 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 do. It's a whole new place with a brand new attitude. But you still gotta catch them all. And be the best that you can be. Pokemon Johto. Holy shit, boys, I cannot be more ready after that. In fact, how about we just sing old Pokemon songs for views from now on and forget the Pokemon Crystal? Maybe let's not get ahead of ourselves, Donald. To be fair, our pitch wasn't perfect, and I'm sure the people actually want to see us play this randomizer in luck. As much as I want to put that rendition of the Gen 2 theme song on repeat in my 2021 Chevy Silverado, we definitely have a game to play here, Donald. And this is going to be a lot harder than Pokemon Yellow for damn sure. Anyone else notice that Suicune was looking dummy thick in that intro at the end? New season, same sussy Biden, it looks like. I'll give you credit though, Joe, you made it farther into this playthrough without saying some of that dumb shit that made you famous during Pokemon Yellow than I thought you would. Looks like we're off to a flying start. But before we get this action kicked off, everybody, we want to remind you this will not be a vanilla playthrough of Pokemon Crystal. This will be a randomized news lock, and we will show you all of the settings we've applied to this save file. For starters, all Pokemon-based statistics will be randomized, and all evolutions will be random as well. The only rule is that the evolution line must follow the same typing. For example, a Wooper would only be able to evolve into a water or ground type, and any Pokemon at the end of an evolution line will not be able to evolve further. In addition, level 40 will be the limit for the final evolution in each line, and all Pokemon will also evolve with the same level or stone conditions as usual. But we did turn off time of day evolution restrictions. The starters, wild encounters, and trade requests will all be random as well. We could end up having Suicune as our starter or as our first encounter. Move sets are also completely random, so you could have a Charmander using Hydro Pump. But we did disable game breaking moves. So, for example, a level 2 Pokemon can't have Dragon Rage and destroy anything early game in its path. Our rival will always have his starter at every encounter, and wild Pokemon will be 20% stronger to reduce the grinding we have to do in this game because it is well known for its horrible level scaling. Finally, all items in the wild are also random with the exception of key items, and that should be just about it. Somebody else speak now because I'm sitting the next couple plays out. I couldn't be more thankful you're the resident nerd of this group, Obama. You did a fantastic job of explaining everything there. You did just forget to mention that trainers will be type themed so that every gym will have its own randomized type. I swear, if the first gym we have to go up against is Dragon, we literally just had to go through being kidnapped and having to escape from an underground lab in Moscow, so I really hope this is easier on us. 16 badges, the strongest trainer to ever exist, and all of it being random? Yeah, something tells me this isn't going to be a cakewalk, Donald. We have to be at the top of our game and ready to play better than ever before. If a Pokemon faints, we can't just heal it anymore. It's gone forever. I'm not ready for those moments. In terms of our name, I say we just make it a channel tradition to be POTUS in each save file. And just as like a mark of making it look like New Game Plus, how about we do two exclamation points this time? We've earned it. I, I mean, I'm not going to say no because the exclamation point thing was my idea in yellow, but how about you wait for confirmation before you lock something in that big, you jackass? Real talk, Joe, but we can talk about that later because it is officially go time. We are live, everyone. I'm just going to start off by grabbing the potion out of the PC, so we have at least that to start with. Hey, wait a minute, where's my free potion? I thought Game Freak gives us a stimulus package to begin. Unfortunately, we don't get a free item in this game, Joe. They took that out in Pokemon Crystal. At least we can get more healing items than last time by virtue of getting berries from trees that didn't exist last generation. Oh, you liberals always looking for the easy way out and wanting free stuff. How about you go out there in the fields and win some trainer battles so you can afford some medicine? All we're asking for is medicine at the same cost you paid during tax season, Donnie. Is that so much to ask for? I swear on Ivanka that I will absolutely eviscerate you on the debate stage for that comment, old man. Oh, shit. 
He swore on the one he actually cares about. You better take that threat seriously, Joe. Oh, man, I'm absolutely shaking really fast, though. Hey, guys, one of these things is not like the other. One of these things just doesn't belong. Can you tell me which thing is not like the others? Before I finish my song. It's Donald, because he actually lost a presidential election. Ratio plus L plus you're getting smacked in November if you win the primary big boy. What the fuck, Bush? Why don't you have my back like Obama with Biden? Us Republicans need to stick together. Well, excuse me for not using a teleprompter like they do and not being ready for that ambush. Also, these guys are closer than ever right now, seeing Biden has begun to take part in the family business over in Yemen. I could not be prouder with you right now, Joe. You clearly were doing your homework. When I was the VP and the democracy you are sending them is nothing short of beautiful. Did this bitch just talk shit about my mom getting my poke gear for me? Well, excuse me if I'm only a 10 year old and can't buy the newest tech on my own. Maybe this red haired gentleman will be nicer to me. Hey, wait, what the fuck? Is this Justin Tucker? Bro just kicked me halfway across town. The pills must be wearing off Sleepy Joe. You know that's our rival in this game. But do you guys have a name in mind for him? We know Putin is off the table for obvious reasons. Maybe it's just because Biden said, Justin Tucker, it's in my head. But how about Tucker since he was such a fan favorite last series and definitely doesn't like us? I can't think of a better rival for us to have. Not to mention, I don't think we have to worry about him kidnapping and trapping us in a simulation. He's harmless in that regard. Yeah, I'm cool with that name, but we can confirm that later. We're about to get our starter, everyone, so let's lock in here. This is going to set the tone for the entire early game. Do we get a legendary or do we get screwed? We're at the mercy of the randomizer. I promise to go on a diet if we can get a loogie ah, right here. Come on, Godseed, bless us. Well, it looks like first off, we have the high school sex ed diagram, also known as cloister. 525 base stats is a great first option considering all of those stats are randomized and not on defense. Following Cloyster, we have far-fetched who, to be honest, is nowhere near the same threat and would be a great Pokemon to stick with our rival the entire game. And last but not least, we have Mantine, who isn't a bad option, but at the same time, I really don't want our rival to have a Cloyster the entire game. So I think the option is clear here, boys. We go with the gateway to manhood for young men everywhere. Way ahead of you, Donnie. We have our first Pokemon, and hopefully we can keep him from start to finish in this run. Joe, let's pay homage to our boy Dilkson and his band name from the Pokemon Showdown ladder. There couldn't be a better name than Potosy for Cloyster. Hopefully that salty bitch who got that name banned on Showdown isn't here on YouTube. But if he is, he can cope and mauled because the name is awesome and we refuse to say otherwise. Well, it looks like we're off to a great start then with our starter boys. As long as we play smart, and get a balanced stat distribution, we should have no issue being able to carry it into the late game. Well, I guess there's no better time than the present to check out the stats and moves on this thing. And ooh, it has an item on it. Maybe it's the rainbow wing. Oh, no, wait, it's just a berry, false alarm. Yeah, I doubt our starter would be holding that Biden, but hold on and look at this goaded move set. We have Thunderbolt, a psychic type move, and while it may only be a 55% chance, a move that can inflict poison. We won't know too much about the stat distribution until it starts leveling up, but we could not have asked for anything more right here. Potency is going to be an absolute force for us. Remember everyone, the run does not start until we actually get our first poke balls, so even if Biden absolutely misplays or runs into an Entei with Thunder, we wouldn't be done just yet. Oh, give me a break, Barack. I was our best player in Pokemon Yellow. You act like I would do something that would make me look stupid, and God damn it, Tucker is two for two on field goals now. The Packers really could have used him over that bum Anders Carlson. Yeah, Joe. Way to prove me wrong there. Just get to the lab so we can get our first encounters of this run. We will get one on both Route 29 and 30, so as long as we don't mess things up, we could have three Pokemon at the end of episode one, like in our last series. Will you shut up, Obama? Look at the screen. The holy grail of compatibility is right in front of us. Show some respect. And I thought Biden was the sus one of our group. Get a hold of yourself, Donald. Farewell, sweet prince. I apologize for our potency shocking you into submission. Uh, yeah, those are words I never thought I would hear you say, Donald. But I'm just gonna change the subject really fast and go back to that discussion we were having about the name of our rival. Are we all in agreement that Tucker would be a good name for him? Seeing that cave dweller would be too long of a name. 
I think that would be a fine name for us to choose. Do you have any objections, Donald? Nope, none at all. Tucker deserves this for bringing me cold food on the SS Ann. I am looking forward to the opportunity to kick his ass across two regions. Then it's settled. Glad we could agree on that pretty quickly. One other thing I was wondering about, what's our turn order going to be for this series? I think we had a pretty good system last series, so I would say we roll with it again. Biden leads us off, Donald goes second. I get episode three. And then it's up to you in episode four, George. Works for me. I can't wait to play seeing I joined really late. And my only dedicated episode in yellow was going up against Giovanni. Biden may have been the MVP last time around, but this time old W is going to take that title. Yeah, keep dreaming, George. Just be happy you got a spot on Team Biden over here. I noticed you all got some new AI-generated icons, like I have always had, but don't think that's the source of my power. I agree with a solid negative 5% of your policies, but I really did like how you had the AI-generated logo while we just had photoshopped images of us with headsets on. So the boys and I took some time to make some new photos that will not only be unique to our channel, but feature a bit of our personalities as well. Yeah, I am glad we did this. Personally, I think mine just shows off my elite determination and shows anybody that I will be a tough opponent. Holy shit, it's the Silver Leaf, quick. Fuck this mission, we need to get to the Whirl Islands and summon Lugia. Uh, unfortunately, Biden, it's the Silver Wing that summons him and not the Silver Leaf. I will say I definitely did glance over when I saw Silver, but that's not the item we need. Also, I think you're forgetting that we need Surf, Whirlpool, and a Pokemon with a slightly higher level. Seeing that encounter is at level 60, Sleepy Joe. Get your head on straight and think before you act. Okay, Donald, give him a break. It was an honest mistake. An honest mistake, Obama. There are no honest mistakes in a Nuzlocke. In just a few minutes, one mistake could mean the absolute end of our run. There is no room for mistakes. I don't know about you, but I will do anything to protect my potency from all who try to attack it. Please tell me we got that recorded, Obama. Yes, we absolutely did. I am making that my new ringtone for when Donald calls me as we speak. Oh my God, you knew what I meant. Don't even start with this. You can't talk about not making mistakes and then get caught slacking on the mic like that, bro. Mind your phrasing. Yeah, 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 whatever. Isn't there something else we can talk about instead of your dirty minds? Well, actually, yes, there is. You see, boys, because of the magnitude of the episodes at the end of our series, we didn't actually get a chance to go over donations we got from the last few episodes. So let's thank the members from our amazing fan base that contributed to our channel. Sounds like a plan to me. Our first shout out goes to the Queen Veslime One, who sent this donation back in episode 17. The donation was made after we finished editing episode 18 already, so we didn't get a chance to shout her out then. She said that a certain green-haired trainer has a crush on me for my battle skills. What do you have to say about that, Obama? Uh, I mean good for you, Joe. I'm happily married, so why would I care in the slightest about if a certain green hair trainer that may or may not have been the subject of a mistaken drone strike likes you? No reason, Barry. No reason at all. It totally has nothing to do with this image at all right here. Oh my God. Professor Elm is calling us. We need to stop whatever conversation we were having and worry about this. There's trouble at the lab. We have to get back to New Barktown immediately. Saved by the phone call, I guess, there, Barack? All right, we'll let you off the hook and go to our donations from episode 18. And let's start off with the Queen Vest Slime One again, who is a huge fan of all of our development and thinks you are the GOAT Joe. What do you have to add in about your relationship with Dark Brandon? The way it works is that Dark Brandon is always aware of my surroundings. He has a mind of his own, and when he deems necessary, he takes control to help me out. There definitely is a mutual respect where he respects our boundaries and would never do anything to put me in harm. And I will never fight him for control if he thinks it's warranted. Nice lore dump there, Sleepy Joe. But it's about time for you to wrap up your story because it's time for our first battle with Tucker. It really shouldn't be an issue since we have Thunderbolt against Farfetch'd, but of course we want to destroy him and set the tone for our battles in the future. I wish this battle would last longer because it's easily the best rival battle theme in the game. It's just so perfect and there are no other words needed to describe it. I could listen to it all day. This is an absolute banger and let's also try to remember this bird has ice beam for future battles. But I would have to say Hugh from Black and White. Two has the best theme. 
Feels like I'm in a club and I'm just jamming out in the battle. Rest in piss, bozo. Round one goes to POTUS. But I would have to say my favorite battle theme is Wally from Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby because it's like I'm literally in an anime opening theme. That vibe is just unmatched. All good picks, but the best is one we just heard a few months ago. The champion battle theme against Blue was all about the culmination of an epic journey and truly set the stage for what was an epic battle. By the way, if you say it doesn't count because it's a champion battle theme, then I'll sue you. Not sure how we went from thanking our community for donations to suing them. But hey, if you've been here before, I'm sure you understand it. That's going to be our comment question for this video. Let us know below what rival battle theme you think is the best in all of the Pokemon games. Speaking of donations, we have some more to talk about and we'll go right back to episode 18, where we will now thank our biggest overall donator, King Onyx, who is complimenting us for our expert battling in the Elite Four, and especially Dark Brandon for his incredible strategy against Lance. Thank you as always, King, and we couldn't be more grateful for you. I'll be happy to talk about the next donation, but boys, while Bush was reading that he just picked up a moon ball, so does that mean the run is officially on? I'm gonna make an executive order right now and say no, because the letter of the law says when you get poke balls, not moon balls. Let's just start this when we leave from New Barktown like it should be. Works for me. Back to the donations we have. Mario King plays 2,951, who we hope enjoyed the finale he was hyped for. Spoiler alert, he did. And he said so in his donation in the finale. We're so glad you found us and we can't wait to share our journey playing Pokemon Crystal with you. Thank you so much for the donations. Next up, we would like to thank Hayakuji no Wookie and some random crap 0718 who had matching donation amounts and pretty much matching comments. Thank you so much for your kind words and donations. I'm actually floored on how well you pronounce his name there, Joe. You really are one hell of a weeb. We had one more donation in the finale. You guys are spoiling the hell out of us. And I'll be shouting out King Onyx again for his $20 donation. Your donation is what brings us to tears and we're so glad you enjoyed it. We hope you had a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year as well. And last but not least, we will be thanking our good friend, the Queen Veslaim, one again for her donation during the movie. She says here that, well, um, it looks like she has some photos for you, Joe but I wouldn't be a good friend if I didn't screen them before they got to the Oval Office desk. I'll take care of that for you. The Nuzlocke is officially on now, by the way, boys, but Obama, it clearly says there they aren't for you. How about you shut the fuck up and read some of your court paperwork, Donald? Mind your own business. I think I'll just take them, Obama. I'm going to respect Queen's wishes. She's 21, bro. Yep, not interested all yours, Obama. Wait, no, no, Barack, give me those back right now. They aren't for you. Fuck you, Towers. Go read to some second graders. God fucking damn it, he locked himself in the bunker. Biden, you better have someone sanitize that before I move back in here next year. I definitely will have it sanitized and give the cleaning staff a week off for mental health recovery. But don't worry, fam, you won't be moving back in here until 2029 at the earliest, if you still even wanted to be president again. Joe, why did you agree to watch the catching tutorial? We don't need to waste any time with that. Well, since it's randomized, I wanted to see who dude over here would encounter. It would be absolutely hilarious if he just caught a level five Mewtwo right in front of us and was like, see, that was easy. Okay, by now. That actually would be baller as fuck. And imagine he's the new champion at the end of the game. Like, hey guys, I know I was just being a nice guy and showing people how to catch Pokemon. But since I got this Mewtwo, I decided to take the entire Pokemon world down. You sound like you're interviewing for a job at Game Freak to design the next Pokemon games. But here it is, guys, our first encounter. It's oh my god, Obama's yes, yes, not yes. Here. Compatibility, it's so close to our grasp. All of the compatibility. I stand by my statement, Biden. If you fuck this up, you're going out the window. We're good, Trump. Don't worry, it's in red. So we just got to chuck poke balls at it until we catch it. Should we maybe knock this thing out accidentally so Donald isn't going insane over it the entire game? Yeah, I think I'm going to catch this one bush. I can't do that. Yeah, fair enough. How about you just put old Betsy down? Donald and we'll catch the Vaporeon. Biden, catch the damn thing. I want to go home tonight. Do you not think I'm trying here? What do you want me to do, George? Just catch the damn thing, you demented fool.
crazy fact here. But did you know the human body has 206 bones? I wonder if each one makes the exact same noise when it breaks. I guess I could always test it out. Biden, for the love of God, I'm begging you. I have a good feeling about this one. Oh my God, thank you, sweet baby Jesus. Yay, we caught it! I never doubted you for a second there, Biden. Now name it compatible. Sure, why not? It's not like you have been a complete psychopath, and I fear for my life right now. I'm not sure why you guys are acting so weird. It's a Pokemon with 525 base stats and could be an absolute powerhouse on our team if we keep it alive. It also knows Sludge Bomb, which is a nice early game move. Sleepy Joe, compatible is spelled with an I and not an A, you demented fossil. Change it right fucking now before I break out old Betsy again. I got it, I got it, chill out. Why the fuck is Secret Service not doing anything about this? What the hell is going on up here? Can a man screen photos that may pose a danger to the president of the free world? Trump's turning the bunker. Out of my way, drone striker. You guys caught a Vaporeon, didn't you? Yes, yes we did. And you named it compatible? We really didn't have a choice in the matter. Listen, I get it. I'm just happy he didn't make us catch one in Pokemon Yellow. It does have the potential to be really good. So uh, let's just be happy with that and we still have one more encounter to get before we sign off today. We have been blessed with some good electric, psychic, and poison type moves early. So if we could get something with a really good ground or water type move, we would be in a fantastic spot for Faulkner at the first gym. We also can't complain about having two Pokemon with 525 base stats this early in the game. If we can nurse them in, let them get their best moves, then they'll be good to us. We just have to make sure not to put them in a bad spot and lose them. I've actually never done a Nuzlocke before, so I'm as excited as I am nervous. Seriously, Biden? You've never even tried one before? Seems like someone like you would have done plenty by your age. He normally just plays the game vanilla, but there was that one time he tried to invent the Youngster Joey Challenge. The Youngster Joey Challenge, and you were aware of this? It's not as bad as it sounds. One time in Pokemon Soul Silver, he tried to play the game only using a Rattata like Youngster Joey. He gave up on it though after Joey called him for a rematch and he had evolved his Rattata. He was devastated. Now's not the time to open up those wounds. It's time for our next encounter. Not the best encounter right here. Doesn't evolve until level 35, so I doubt we keep him around for long. Can't use Psybeam because that probably knocks out. So we just have to hope Thunderbolt doesn't as well. Wish we could have got a second hit off, but hold on just a minute right here. This environmental hazard has Earthquake. That just made this coughing a lot more inviting. 100 power on that move and we'll be a perfect counter Pokemon. Not going to mess around and just throw the poke ball right here. Hopefully we can get that quick catch with no issues. Very well done there, Joe. Like we said, coughing isn't the best Pokemon and won't evolve for a long time, but any Mon with Earthquake is welcome on the team. What are we thinking for the name? Well, we already paid homage to one of our homies with Potosy, so I'm going to keep spreading the love and pay homage to Goat Producer 6 by naming coughing after his Torkoal, which was also an episode one Pokemon. No complaints with that one, and the name actually does fit. Let's take a look and see if our new buddy Snoop has any other moves. Low accuracy, but supersonic is a great secondary move to pair with Earthquake that can completely turn the tide of battle in a tight spot. I don't think we could have done much better this first episode, boys. And you picked up right where you left off, Joe. So great job as always, buddy. I yeah, appreciate it, Barack. I guess it's time to sign off, but Donald is still doing his thing. So what do we do? Let's just let Donald finish what he's doing down there. And we'll meet up with him for the episode next week. I don't think any of us are going to volunteer to go get him. But that is going to do it for episode one, everybody. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for being here and we can't wait to embark on this new journey with you. Don't forget to let us know what your favorite rival theme was in the comments below. See you next week, everyone. And as always, if you haven't joined the Discord, the link is in the description. We hope to see you in there and right back here next week for episode two. Bye, everyone. Where the fuck did everyone go?